Hello, my name is Chris Heiser from University of Pennsylvania in Internet 2, and this is the Grouper Training for System Administrators on Patching. I will cover an introduction to Grouper Patching, how the patch files are structured, keeping track of which patches are applied, um, how to patch, um, when patches are available, and then a demo of patching. What is a patch? A patch is a zip file and it contains metadata about the patch, new files to copy to Grouper, old files that are being replaced just to make sure everything, the state of the system is what the patch expects. And to be able to roll back a patch, it'll know what files to um, put back. Um, basically what patches do, they don't edit a file, they basically either add or replace um, existing files. Grouper patches can be applied to the Grouper API, the user interface, web services, or the PSP. Um, the Grouper team will create a patch when there is um, a uh, fix or an enhancement that has a small um, number of changes. And if we want to get those out before um, the next minor release or major release of Grouper, especially if there are security related problems. Um, and, you know, some problems it's not really conducive to use a patch, um, so it's really only for things that, uh, that a patch will work for. Inside the zip file, the patch metadata file is a uh, um, properties file. And first of all, we can talk about how patches are named. Um, a patch is named with grouper underscore and then the version, which in this case as uh, v2 underscore 2 underscore 1. Then the uh, module that the patch is for, so in this case this is an API patch or it could be UI, WS, or PSP. And then the word patch and then starting from zero just a sequential number. So um, inside the patch file the properties file for the metadata is named the same thing. The patch metadata file looks like this. Um, basically it's a properties file. So there are some comments um, and then there's a description of the patch um, which usually mentions the JIRA ticket ID and, uh, and the, sub the um, summary from JIRA. Patches can be dependent on other patches. Um, the reason this would happen is if files that other patches change um, need to be changed by this patch and then the patching system can make sure that you've applied the other patches because you can pick which patches you want to apply. Um, the low, medium, or high risk is basically um, it's just a gut feel for um, how many changes the patch is going to make or how core they are and the possibility that um, you know, it could negatively affect other things. So if it's just affecting one JSP on a screen, it's probably going to be low. If it's affecting how group math is computed, it would probably be high. <coughs> um, the next item is whether or not it's a security patch, true or false. If it affects the security of systems or group or itself, then, um, then this will be true. And requires restart if you're editing class files or a jar you're going to have to restart the process that's running Grouper. If you're just editing a config file or a JSP, then this will be false. So this is going to tell you if you have to restart your process. So how patches are structured, there's a zip file. Inside there's a directory called new and a directory called old. Um, if there's only new files being copied, that doesn't have to be an old directory. Um, inside new and old, there's um, a classes directory, a files directory, and a lib directory. Classes is for files on the class path. Um, files is just uh, basically non-classes, non-jars, um, so JSP, stuff like that. And then lib would be jars. So um, once patches are applied, there's a file to keep track of which patches have been applied, and that file is called grouperpatchstatus.properties. 
So this file is going to have a list of the patches that were applied or reverted in the state. So um, in this case, there's a timestamp for when it when it occurred and the fact that the patch is applied. How to run the patcher? The patcher is run from Grouper Installer. So um, you can, uh, let's see here. Um, Grouper Installer can install, um, upgrade, or patch, and basically you run the patcher just like the installer. So you're going to get the Grouper Installer jar, and you can download that from the Grouper download site. And note the uh, the version below would be whatever um, version of the installer you're downloading. At the time of this recording, it's 2.2.1 is the uh, most recent stable version. So you could do wget in this URL. Then to run it, you're just going to do java-jar, grouperinstaller.jar, and pick patch from the main menu. How do you know when patches are available? You should subscribe to the grouper users list. Um, all patches are announced there. Um, you can check the release, release notes page for your version of grouper. Um, patches for that version will be listed there. Also, in JIRA, we're um, marking the version of JIRA issues in a patch um, with a special version for that um, patch. So you can filter JIRA for issues as well. Or you can just run the grouper patcher and it'll tell you what isn't installed and ask if you want to install it. Um, patching demo. So I've got the uh, grouper demo server. Um, I've got the grouper installer downloaded, so I can do java-jar, grouper installer.jar. It's going to ask me what I want to do, so I'm going to say patch. It wants to know what directory to use to download patches, so I'm just going to use the current directory. So I run this not from um, grouper, but from another directory. What do you want to patch? I'm going to patch a UI. Where is the UI installed? So this is, at the time of this recording, this is going to be the web apps, um, web app directory inside Tomcat web apps. So inside that directory is, you know, webinf and the JSPs and stuff like that. So um, this isn't where you compiled Grouper from, it's the expanded war file. So now what do you want to do with patches? You can do a status and see what's not there. You can install patches, you can revert patches. So I'm going to install patches. So this is going to try to download patches, tell me what they are, and what I want to do with them. So now the first patch it's trying is um, grouper 2.2.1 API patch 0, and it says um, it's a low risk, it's not a security patch. This pitch fixes um, GRP 1095 hibernated exception handling masked original exception if rollback. So, do you want to install this patch? Yes. And this has a class file in it, so it says I need to stop my processes so I can um, stop Tomcat. And now it said hit any key to hit enter to continue. And now it's just going to go through each patch. And install them. UI patch 5, UI patch 6, UI patch 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So 12 is the last patch. And um, basically, it downloaded and um, installed all those patches. <coughs> If I run it again, I can uh, just get a status of all the patches.
So it's going to um, basically say each patch zero was applied on. That means it's applied. Um, and then what the patch is, it's going to look in the uh, metadata. So you can see that basically all these patches um, were applied. And there's no message that says there's a new patch. Okay. Um, click on the quiz link in the video description to reinforce your knowledge of this topic if there is a quiz link there. Thank you very much. For further information, check out the grouper. Um, info sheets, mailing lists, wiki, downloads, um, try stuff out on the demo server and uh, um, look at the grouper training home to see if there's more videos for you.